Hey, this is Russell, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about chasing. So what is chasing? I consider chasing literally hunting after someone while the other person might not be that open of receiving the love and interest that you show. Because there is a difference between chasing someone and showing interest. And showing interest, I think, is something really healthy and the fact that you are able to express your feelings towards someone in a healthy and responsible way is a good thing. And maybe the guy you are expressing your feelings to is not that open or is not that responsive to you at this moment in time. So what can you do? Well, first, be aware of the fact that the more you chase, the more you show interest, the more energy you project towards a certain thing. This can also be a thing. For example, you really want to become really good at playing the piano. Well, all your energy is put into practicing and stuff like that. That's, that's something that's really good because then you really develop a skill. And when it comes to people, this can actually have a counterintuitive effect because you are pushing too much energy uh, you're projecting too much energy to someone and this person is kind of like overwhelmed by your energy and if this person is not ready to receive that energy it might feel overwhelming to him yeah so that's kind of like what happens when you chase it's always good to see like who is this guy receptive and once you like someone well this person is gonna feel it whether you want it or not Okay, and sometimes it can feel overwhelming to that other person and you cannot blame him for that because he is in his process and maybe at this moment he's not able to receive your type of energy or your type of genuine interest, right? Because it can be scary for some people and depending on how much he loves himself, um, where he is at in his journey, he might not be able to accept a certain type of love from you. And the ideal scenario is obviously that the guy is showing as much interest in you as you do in him. But remember that everyone has their own time frame and everyone is dealing with their own <laughs> And some people just need way more time to get interested. So also try to be patient with the guy, yeah? And while you're here, you could ask yourself, does the situation you're in uh, makes you feel maybe anxious or undervalued? And remember that you as well deserve love, attention and respect. You want to be with someone who appreciates your worth and who appreciates your boundaries as well. Is it a good idea to take a step back right now? To not only respect your own emotions and to protect yourself a little bit, but also to give space, to give space to the other person to come to you because energetically this other person might be stuck in the corner because you put him there you projected all your energy and all your interest into that person and he feels overwhelmed and once you step back you create some space and you create space for him to come to you and how could you take a step back well that's basically coming back to you connecting to yourself doing stuff that you like to do and really make an effort of letting it go. Give him space to initiate a conversation and do things and activities that really make you shine and that really make you feel good about yourself. So really take back your energy, uh, take it back to yourself and appreciate yourself. So if this video resonated with you, give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content, don't forget to subscribe and you can click on the little bell so you get a notification when I um, publish a new video. And until we meet again, stay strong, stay true, and keep shining brightly. You are amazing.